Hi everyone, today we are going to do some acrylic trays. I am so excited about this. Um, it looks like my face might be frozen, so let me know um, if you can hear me at least, and we'll see how it goes. I'm trying to open it on my phone as well, but I've got two acrylic trays here that I am super excited to show you. Um, one I have painted already, one is clear. I got this one on Amazon, and this one is from the Target dollar spot. Um, I don't think they have them right now, but I... like in all right how about now maybe now I think it's good I think it's good um, let me know if you can hear me come back um, I think maybe yes no yes no yes no um, so I went away when you took your face off the screen okay I, well let's see if it comes back Okay, there's just a, such a delay. So, okay, all right, great. It's like a 20 second delay from when I actually do things to when you see it, so it makes it a little awkward, but okay, great. Um, all right, so where are we at? Oh yeah, this I got from Amazon, this I got from Target. This one's cute, it's got like a little gold um, thing around it. So I'm gonna be using the grand finale, and then I'm using these glitters that I got like as part of a collab box. There were other things in this box, but these are the four glitters. They're from Glitter Dip Sips. And then there were a few different um, decals that I'm going to use this one that says Sunset Chaser. And these are just super fun. They're super summery, but I don't really care. I feel like um, if you are into like the retro vibes, you can just have it in your house whenever you want. Or if you have like, you know, if you live in like, a beachy area then this would be fine to have you around so I also am gonna be using some of the crystallite paints to apply my glitter so I've got the neon coral I'm gonna put under this pink I'm gonna do the neon orange under this one is called high C and I have this blue that I mixed up a while ago that I'm gonna use and I'm gonna use the moss green Flippin' awesome for this one called Volkswagen. So, um, if you're just tuning in, I am sorry. I had a little bit of a technical difficulty, but we're back here. I'm just going to work on these acrylic trays. So, you have a, two choices, basically. Um, and if you've seen any of my videos on acrylic blanks, you know that it can help to base coat um your area because this is clear you absolutely do not have to however if you're going to just go ahead and put glitter on this and you're going to be using the um grand finale or you can use your bright tone you can use whatever um it doesn't matter um you want to prep your surface so the first thing you're going to want to do is take your 400 grit sandpaper and sand where you want to put on your glitter or your um, bright tone or whatever you're about to do, your grand finale, um, but you have to prep the surface. It doesn't take a lot to prep 
acrylic. This is going to be the same for like any a keychain that you do, um, any plastic situation that you do. And then I am going to, um, hold on, I got a fine paper towel. I'm going to use the surface conditioner to clean this. You can just use a little water as well. Okay, so let me know in the chat if you've done like acrylic keychains or anything besides tumblers. Let me know in the chat. I'm super excited that you're all here. This is kind of a fun one. I like when we do um, something a little bit outside of the tumbler zone. It gets my creative juices flowing. And so then you have to decide. We can do two different trays here, but if you want to put glitter on this, you can go right on this with your glitter. I recommend using a um, metallic or a holographic glitter because if you were gonna use, this one is definitely iridescent. So that means it's a little bit see-through. And so since this is clear and this is a little clear, it, it just kind of gives a very dull look. Um, so you definitely would need two coats if you're just using an iridescent glitter. If you use a metallic glitter, it pops a little bit more. And without a base coat, you might just want two different, two coats. Um, it's like totally up to you. We can put some glitter on this one um, in a minute. But what I did was I sanded this one and then I base coated it with the universal gray because I'm going to just like paint some lines in here, like kind of like a wavy line situation with these four colors and I'm gonna add my glitter right to my wet paint. So that's what I'm gonna do. But prepping is super important. You don't need a base coat, but it can help just be, just with the nature of how um, clear these are, <coughs> it helps the colors pop a little bit more. So, <coughs> excuse me, I'm still out of breath from my workout, so ex <coughs> excuse me. My friend Kelsey and I just rode the Peloton because it was her 400th Peloton ride, 400. So it was super fun but I'm out of breath. Um, okay, let me see who's here and if there are any questions so far. Um, a soap dispenser, ooh, that sounds fun. Yasmin asks, if you wanna do a clipboard, would you sand as well? Yes, you always wanna prep by sanding. Hi, Natasha, first live, so glad you are here. I hope you have as much fun as I do. Um, Keychains, bookmarks, clipboards, yes. So, and wood projects, like, this is all kind of the same thing. All the prep is generally the same. So you want to sand the um, acrylic, and then if you want a base coat, you can do it. If you're going to be, like, if you're thinking about this going, like, and you're putting stuff in it, like, it doesn't matter what the bottom looks like. Like, you don't really need to see the glitter through the bottom. So a base coat can help. If you're going to go pink, you can do a pink base coat, stuff like that. So... What I'm going to do is, I'm not open these, so I actually have to find some scissors to prep these bags. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just paint on these wavy lines. Hopefully I have enough paint brushes. From last week, you guys, last week, you know how we did the Halloween tumbler? I didn't wash any of my brushes. Like, I just left them on the table for like a day or two. So that was so annoying. So they're sitting in rubbing alcohol as we speak um, to try to salvage those. Um, but I gotta decide what order I'm gonna go in. And then ultimately, the process of making these and finishing it up is gonna be just like a tumbler. It's really no different than making a tumbler, honestly. That's the cool part. I like being able to use my supplies on tumblers and I like using, I like being able to use my supplies on other things so I don't have to buy like a whole new set of supplies. It's always a plus because you know me when I want to buy, when I want to make something new, I gotta buy everything for it. Let me know in the chat if you're like that too. I know a lot of you are, so yeah. Um, hi Becky, hi Kim. I'm so glad to see you. 
And Kelsey, yes, Kelsey, hello. Good job, 400 rides. Um, Jackie has not done acrylic keychains. Um, yeah, yeah. I If I don't clean them right away, but, like, sometimes after this live stream, I'm just, like, tired. So I just, like, go upstairs or I'm trying to catch the tail end of, you know, bedtime. I literally just left them here, so that was kind of annoying. But mostly they're clean. This was one I left. There's, like, a couple little paint specks still in here. Like, unfortunately, I was in, like, black and, and blue paint, of course. Um, okay, so... What order, so I'm going to do, I'm going to put this, like, there-ish. I'm going to put white glitter as well, but eventually I'm going to put this decal down. So let me try something. I'm worried because I, I it, this base coat hasn't been drying for all that long, if I'm being honest. So I'm going to put this little piece of tape down, but hopefully it doesn't, like, rip up my base coat. Sometimes if you don't let it dry enough... It doesn't fully stick. So I'm thinking about doing like four wavy lines. What do you guys think about that? Like maybe I could go and then I'll have like white up here. So my what I was thinking, maybe I'll just do three. Maybe I'll just do green, pink, then blue and skip the orange today. I feel like I don't really have enough room for four maybe I'll go maybe I can see how much room I have or should I go pink maybe I should go blue pink and then green what do you guys think pink in the middle to break up the blue and green okay Jess we're on the same page do you think I should do I think I'm gonna leave out the orange I'm just not sure I have enough uh, space so I'm thinking these three plus I'm not like the biggest orange fan anyway so um let me know what you guys think in the chat buying craft supplies is one of my hobbies yes Aileen I'm glad I'm not alone okay let me know in the chat what you guys think um pink in the middle for orange would fit the sticker but pink is better or, yes, because, okay, let's just try this. Let's just see, let's just see how much room we have. I'm thinking, we're going to see how it goes. I'm going to kind of do one like this, like this, and then one in the corner. I'm going to just, um, what do we decide? Blue first. I'm just going to see how it goes. Maybe I will um, do a little bit of paint let it dry a little bit and then just go in with a second coat just to map this out. I think that's what I'll do. So this blue is just um, universal white, blue pigment, and maybe I think I put in a little bit of like green to kind of tone it down. This, this I made this for a beach tumbler um, for my community group we did some beach tumblers and I mixed up some paint for them so I think that's what it is um, just to kind of tone it down a little bit more of a pale blue versus um, if you just put the blue pigment in the universal white it's um it's a really pretty like baby blue but that wasn't really what I was going for okay what's um, okay, yeah, all right, well, we'll just see how it goes. Let's see how much room I have. I've got, like, black paint coming out of my brushes, but that's okay. So I'm thinking kind of, like, something like that. Let's just try it. Let's just go for it. We all know from last week I'm not the best freehand painter. But we can't get better. Unless we try. Just kind of trying to do like a wavy line. 
you know, like that vintage kind of look. Okay, so that's where the blue will go. It's all right, it's all right. It's fine. Sorry, my head's in the way. And then I rinse my brushes with water. Generally, I just put them in like a cup of water. Um, but of course, right now, I didn't grab any water. So I'm going to improvise. Oh, I guess I have a water cup that I'm drinking. So I could do that. You can use this uh, practice cup right here. Ready? See, just gonna be resourceful. And then I just I just rinse them in water to clean them. Um, and then I try. What I really like to do is keep like water in my workspace, so I can just um, put my brush in there and call it a day except for i feel like i want to make this a little bit wider but that's okay we'll do that we'll do that next i'm gonna let that dry a little bit i'm just gonna go in with my other colors to see how it looks i think i'm gonna bring this out a little bit here i don't know all right, this is the Neon Coral. This is the Neon Flippin' Awesome paint. Um, I actually don't think I've used the coral yet. But I really like the containers that they come in now because they're so easy to mix up and stir. Which I really like. The other ones, um, you really got to shake up really well. Okay, let me... Okay. This is what I get for trying to do like wavy lines. Like I'm such a straight line on a person it's just it's fine oops I'm gonna clean up the edges later need to get those so pretty oh yeah highly recommend highly recommend the neons like they're so great and then I'm gonna do the moss green for the green glitter which I I'm like obsessed with this this one's called Volkswagen like Mm, I love it. Okay, let me find paper towel. There we go. Yeah, I, I'm like, I love the neon flipping awesome paints, and I really like want like a blue, a neon purple. Like I'm ready for more colors already, even though they like literally just came out. Um, so that's where I'm at. I don't think I've used this one yet. Um, sorry, guys. All right, let me know in the chat how your weekends were. How was your weekend? 
we had a wedding, which was super fun um, to see some old college friends. And we haven't had a wedding in a while, so that was fun. I'm curious what you did this weekend. Um, I am going to, I like to squirt out my paints um, and then dip my brush. That looks all right. What do you guys think? I got a little bit um, up on the side, but I'll just wipe that later. I'm not too concerned. Um, all right, so I'm gonna have an idea. Let's let this dry for like just a couple minutes and let's put glitter in my other one. And then we will come back and um, put glitter on this one, okay? So we're gonna let this dry for just a couple minutes. And then we, we can put some glitter in here. How's that sound? While that one dries just a little bit, I really should let it dry longer than I'm about to, but like I always say, do as I say, not as I do. Um, okay, crib for the nursery and moved furniture. That's exciting. Oh, Georgia's got COVID. I hope you're feeling okay and you recover quickly. Yasmin, oh yes, your first week back teaching. I hope you're doing okay. I hope it's okay. I'm glad you got to escape a little bit. Um, okay, so I'm going to use Grand Finale to apply glitter. And I just got this Queen Bee from PDB. And I thought this would look really cute on a tray. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, rodeo this weekend. Wow, how about that? Performed at a wedding, self-care, hey, relaxing, that's good. Um, look at all you guys, good. look at you guys doing fun things. Okay, I am going to start by just putting on some of this grand finale. And I'm going to brush it out. This is actually my first time using it on something that's not a tumbler, so super excited to see how it works. I'm just going to spread enough to make sure I have it everywhere because if it's not <laughs> if it's not in every spot, like if it's not fully covered, you're not going to get uh, full coverage. But you can always do a second coat. You can use glitter glue, you can use your bright tone, you can use whatever you want. Um, I also think that what would be really cool on here is like a uh, vinyl, like pattern vinyl, or um, I was actually thinking about scrapbook paper. Like don't you guys think like scrapbook paper would look really cool if you had a cool piece? I would use glitter glue to apply that. Um, I have so much patterned vinyl that, like, that would be cool. Um, so if you guys make some trays and use anything besides glitter, I would love for you to post it and tag me so I can see. So I'm just going to sprinkle on this queen bee onto this um, tray. I'm actually going to lift this up and let it fall down. Let me just make sure you guys can see this. Kind of like I'm doing a tumbler. Like, oh my God, this is so pretty. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to spread out this glitter and then I'm gonna tap out the excess. Okay, I mean, if this isn't the cool, greatest tray you've ever seen, then I don't know what. Like, look at this. I'm obsessed. I 
I didn't put any grand finale like on the sides here. Like I think I got some on accident, but you could do it along the sides. But the coverage is amazing um, with this grand finale. Like I absolutely can't see, like, you can't see my hands at all underneath this glitter. So the coverage is absolutely perfect. And oh my God. This is going in my bathroom, definitely keeping this. Um, this, and okay, this glitter, it's the first time I've ever used it, is called Queen Bee from PDB. I actually bought it from Crystalac because they sell glitter now. They sell PDB glitter. And I was like ordering whatever I was ordering and was like, yeah, I should definitely get some glitter. So I did. And so if you need to buy anything, you can get it from PDB. They have, like, they have um, all sorts of amazing colors. I have a few. They sent me, a, um, like, a glitter mail one time. I don't have a discount code to PDB, but I think my friend Christine does. So maybe I could ask her and she could uh, share it. But you could buy it from crystal act next time you need to order it because they sell it too um okay so this tray is from amazon maybe i will share a link if i can get it really quickly on my amazon page um the other one i got from the target dollar spot so you could check target or i don't know about the dollar spot but definitely from target um you could check like home goods or like TJ Maxx or anything like that like they might have some but here is the tray I got this one that I'm using currently is from Amazon I just put it in the chat um, and yeah now I'm, I'm obsessed you could get these in like all different sizes so then eventually I'm gonna let this dry this one only needs to dry for two hours because I used the grand finale I'll probably seal with um, some glitter glue just like I would a tumbler and then I'm gonna keep doing coats of grand finale um, After a few I will sand it a little bit and then just get it smooth enough I mean, I'm not touching it. So it doesn't need to be like fully and completely smooth. It's just um, You know for the look so Yeah, super excited about that. I will be using this glitter all the time Definitely gonna be a new uh, a new favorite of mine. I don't know about you, but it'll be a new favorite of mine. So let me bring this back. <sighs> Got a fuzz in here already. Okay, so I'm gonna move this decal because of it. I am gonna make this white, um, and I'm gonna put white glitter in all of these other spots. So normally I would let this dry um, completely. And then I would go in with another coat, but because we're sitting here live, um, we're just gonna we're just gonna do it. So I am going to um, just do these one at a time. And we're gonna hope for the best here and hope that it doesn't. Uh, I'm gonna just be extra careful because I don't want like because this paint is a little wet. I don't want my glitter to contaminate, but that's okay. We'll make it work. Um, so I'm gonna start with the blue this is a chunky mix called the drive-in and I'm just gonna I think I'm gonna apply it with more paint I'm gonna put more paint on and apply it you can you could brush on glitter glue you could brush on your grand finale um, you can do whatever you want maybe I don't know I'm just feeling like the the paint right now for some reason. I don't actually have a reason for that. Sometimes I just do what I feel like in the moment, not for any, you know, particular reason. I don't know why I'm feeling the paint. I feel like I get better coverage with other methods, but it just kind of feels like, I don't know. I don't know. We're just going to try it and we can always 
do a different um, method for the other two colors if we want. So I'm just gonna be extra careful as I pour on this glitter. Hi, Lindsay, so glad you're here. Kathy says that glitter is in your her cart. Yeah, honestly, like, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. Okay, so I am just going to put this glitter, oopsie, I'm already contaminating the um, pink. But my guess is, <laughs> Just putting so much on here. I'm just gonna use my hand. Uh, if I used like um, a shaker and not a bag, I would have a little bit better control. Whoop. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna tap it down so it can stick to my wet paint. And then I'm gonna just pour this out onto a new piece of parchment paper. But if this paint was fully dry, it really wouldn't have mattered because it would just come right off, but it's okay. I'm not too worried about it. This paint that I'm using right now is um, a mix that I mixed up. Um, this is universal white and blue pigment and maybe a little green pigment, but this pink is neon flipping awesome and the green is the moss green flipping awesome okay so there's that i got a little contamination but it's okay if you were gonna do this i might suggest letting your paint fully dry before before you move on because otherwise that'll that could happen to you and then, like, I know personally, oh, geez. Oh, my. I don't have the best control when I use um, bags of glitter. So, you know, I would probably would have been better with a, with a shaker. But this one is called the drive-in. And then once this is dry... I'm gonna wait till it's completely dry before I put any white glitter in here, but then I can actually for sure um, take out any of the, like I can brush out any of the blue and the green and the whatnot. Okay, so now maybe, maybe for this round, we will brush on some grand finale. What do we think? Or should I, I'm gonna stick with the paint. I'm gonna do this one in paint as well. Um, okay. I made a mess. I made a mess. It's fine. It's fine. I'm going to move this out of the way. I don't want to ruin this pretty glitter. I'm going to get a new piece of parchment paper for this. Um, where was I? Oh, yeah. Okay, we're going to paint on... Got to clean my brush. Paint on a little bit more of the coral. I think because I'm not like a hundred percent in love with like the shape of my lines, is why I'm being drawn to do this in paint, if that makes sense, like versus glitter glue or um, grand finale. Um, but it's totally up to you what method you want to apply your glitter with. You might find that you like, you know, certain things, certain methods more than others. Um, it's... It's, I'm just doing it because I have no real reason why. Okay, so now let's add some pink in here. And I chose the coral instead of, oops, <laughs> literally using so much glitter. Um, I chose the coral instead of a pink because I kind of wanted to mute this pink and kind of change the color 
You know what I mean? So like this is iridescent, so it's going to pick up the colors underneath it. Okay, so it looks a little bit more coral, right, than it does here with the pink next to it um, because of the coral paint. So I got a little blue in there, so I'll just have to save this um, or toss it. I don't know. I, <coughs> I'm not too concerned. I have a lot of pink glitter around these parts, but I don't love wasting my glitter. Okay, so then the last one is the Flippin' Awesome Moss Green. And we've got this glitter, which is called Volkswagen, that we're going to put on it. my head in the way. Sorry guys. <laughs> it's hard to, sometimes it's hard to do things without going right on top of it where my camera is. If I'm being honest. Let me know what you guys think in the chat. I think once I get white glitter in the rest of these spots, it'll come together a little bit better. And then once it's, well, we can talk about that in a second. Let me get this glitter on first. Okay, and this is a chunky glitter, so I'm just going to tap it down so I can try to get it nice and flat. I think that's pretty fun. I think it's fun. Um, I love moss green as well. Big fan. I also am a really big fan of this Volkswagen glitter. This this Volkswagen, th these glitters are from Glitter Dipped Sips. And I do have a discount code. You can use Allison Crafts 10 to save 10% at Glitter Dipped Sips. So once this is dry, I will dry brush it, clear all this off, and put some white glitter. I'm going to use, my favorite is Emily's Pearl from Glitzy Creations. So I'm going to put that all on this side and in between and in the corner. And then once it's smooth, I'll add the decal, which I think looks really good um, with these three colors. I think it looks good. I think the orange would have been pretty too, but we went with the pink which is fine. And I think that it's going to pull together. I can't really, I don't want to add the white glitter now because it'll just get contaminated. And because it's white, um, I can't really like cover up the contamination. Whereas like the rest of them, you kind of can't really even see where I messed it up. So for the tray, I'm going to apply glitter. I also did this other one if anybody missed it. Oh, geez. See, look at that. I just... Oh, I can't take me anywhere. Uh, <laughs> I did this one as well. Super pretty. Um, I'm going to let them dry. And I'm going to seal them. I'm going to seal this one with glitter glue. I might seal this one individually um, as well before I do the white. Um... And then I'm just going to keep going with my grand finale until it is smooth. And I will probably add some sort of quote on this. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. If you have any ideas of what I can do for this, I'm definitely just going to keep this for myself. Um, absolutely for myself. Um, and I might make like 17 gazillion other things with this glitter. And then 
so something you can do when you're dealing with um, multiple like glitters, I might seal this with glitter glue, right? And then put a coat of Grand Finale on top because it's easier to uh, wipe away any glitter um, away if you have Grand Finale versus the glitter glue because the glitter glue is a little bit sticky. So sometimes I will seal it with glitter glue, get it nice and flat, and then put on like a coat or two of the Grand Finale before I move on to the next one because then you can brush away the glitter super easily. So that's an option. Ooh, yeah, Christmas. Definitely a Christmas vibe. I feel like I should buy more, like, for other seasons. Oh, so many ideas. So many ideas. That's why I love these Monday Night Lives. These would be fun for, like, you could get all sorts of different size trays. And, and these are, like, you know, these um, are, like, more, like, toiletry, like, bathroom kind of trays in my opinion you could put like soap on them but you could also get like larger trays and do like a serving tray for your kitchen for whatever I think scrapbook paper would look cool if you have any patterned vinyl that would be cool you could do like maybe you could get like a small one and do like a jewelry tray like almost like a ring tray um depending on what sizes you can find so do you guys have any questions about the trays Yeah, because the glitter glue is sticky, it's hard to get um, any, like, crossover glitter off of it. So if you put down your top coat first, like, just, like, a couple coats, it really helps um, being able to, like, clear it away and to help avoid that contamination. Okay, do you guys have any other questions? I'm super glad that you're here. Um, I don't know why two weeks in a row we're having some technical difficulties, but hopefully you know, next week, um, we can bring it back to no issues. And I'm thinking maybe some pens next week. I don't know guys how I feel about glitter pens, but that was sort of what I had in my mind. We could do anything though. Um, we could do anything. Okay. Do you guys have any other questions? Um, the, I will link up, I will make sure I link up all of the materials that I used here today on my um, underneath this video and I can also put links in my Instagram stories um, highly recommend all of these glitters used today I can link the trays as well um, I'll put that on there they're pre relatively inexpensive I feel like I got this one at the the dollar spot so but it was like a three dollar one um, so for three bucks it's like it's kind of fun to play around with them um, Definitely shopping for trays. Yes. I love that. I love that. Okay. Well, I'm super glad you're here. We'll be back next week. If this is your first live stream, um, make sure that you subscribe and share the stream with anybody who you think might like it. Um, follow me on Instagram if you want to connect with me, if you have any questions or if you want um, to help decide what we do next week and the weeks coming. But every Monday night at 7 o'clock p.m. Central, we are here. And I hope you all have a wonderful week ahead of you. And I'll see you next week.